Alright, so, um, hi. Um, I was gonna go and stream over on Twitch, but apparently, uh, OBS here, uh, has other plans. Uh, I tried streaming out to it, uh, like, three times, and for whatever reason, uh, there's something in my settings that it didn't like, and I was losing like a third of my frames, so the only thing coming through was audio, and only about three quarters of that was coming through. So, there I am. Recording. Post this up on YouTube. Uh, try and figure out Twitch another day. Um, so... Longhouse is over there. I haven't done anything to the longhouse. Don't really want to get too much closer to it because you'll notice up there in the top left, I'm running between 30 and 35 FPS right now. Uh, and that's this far away from it. If I get any closer, my uh, frame rate is just going to pop on me. And I really don't want that. So, um,. Take a look at the map here. Uh, the longhouse is right here. I'm standing here. Uh, now, there is uh, the path. Starts there. And runs over to this house, to this junction. And then, of course, runs down here and eventually comes over to the shipyard. And then around to these houses and back to that point. So that's what I had done last time. Uh, what I've done now is the other day uh, I went this way and I came up around here. There is a house right here. There's a boat there. Uh, and then it comes up around to these houses and then down to here and then eventually comes down by this crypt and then back over to that junction there. Actually, no, it doesn't come over to that junction. It comes over here and then goes around the longhouse and back to that starting point, which is right there. It actually comes out right there in front of the longhouse. I'll show you that in a minute. Uh, grab some snacks. Get comfy. This is going to take a couple of minutes. Especially with a world save coming in in 30 seconds here. So. I had the path running down this way. And before. And that world save's coming. I can feel it. Uh, it didn't even come this far. It was like back there somewhere. It didn't quite make it as far as this house. And there's our world save. So... 2.4 and 1.02. Not bad. Okay. I can handle that. So... Found this little shack here. Right beside the water. Uh, it's a nice little spot. I kind of like this. You know, you could park a boat here. Uh, sail it in from there and then go back. You know, you couldn't go back out that way. But it's relatively uh, sheltered in here. Those waves are getting kind of high. Cool. But I haven't done anything to this shack yet. Other than I made uh, a dirt path up to the steps here. And then of course our paved path goes right past it. So we head down the path. There's, of course, you know, all kinds of great views around here and interesting stuff to look at. Like, we've got, we've got a stone right here. And so I widened out this spot in front of it here. Now, there are probably more little shacks and houses up there somewhere. Uh, I just haven't gone up there to look for them yet. Uh, we do have spots like this where it passes right close to the shore. And then, you know, we can kind of look out on the bay here and, 
you know, hopefully the neck don't come over and bother us. Looks like there's a little island right there. On. Oh, it is too. Yep, there's a little island right there. I may have to go and build on that island. Who knows? But, uh, yeah. So we've got all kinds of raspberry bushes kicking around back here. There's an oak. And there's a house right over there. And this is where our boat is. So, made a little path out to this house. And this guy is a fisherman. As you might have guessed. Uh, he's got his own little stone dock here with a lantern. And his boat's parked here. And out back here, he's got uh, fish drying stations. And a fire. And of course, he's got a chair that he can sit here and cook and... You know, look out on the bay if he wants to. Oh, we got a pet deer over there. Uh, did put a window there so that when he's in the house, he can check the weather. And I put this... I guess it would be kind of shelter. Uh, there is an opening over here in the roof. Uh, like that. I didn't want the smoke going up and into the cabin, so... I put together a couple of roof pieces right here to deflect it kind of out this way. And it also gives me a place to sit here, you know, if it's raining. I can scoop my chair a little closer to the fire and be protected. And I put a crow up there. Uh, the inside... Uh, this is a door from one of the mods. I kind of like that door, so I used it. Uh, we put a lantern here, table, a chair, a chest, and a bed. I mean, after all, he's a fisherman. Uh, doesn't need a whole lot. So, left everything else pretty much as is. Oh, look, a pet boar. Uh, one of the mods that I downloaded, uh puts farmyard animals in the game. So I have cows and horses uh, wandering around on the island here somewhere. I have seen one cow in my travels uh, and I think he was somewhere near one of the farms. But, you know. Oh. There's an altar over there. This guy can't see me, so that's a good thing. Ah, this is one of Ichthyr's altars. Alright, well, I will need to uh, run a little path over to here at some point. Cool. Uh, there's not a whole lot up there. Uh, we do have another one of the rune stones here. And so this path goes for quite a ways. Uh, I didn't even try to smooth any of this out so that it would be level. Um, I do have one of the mods I've got, Infinity Hammer, actually adds all of this onto my hoe. So normally you get these four and then it adds these ones. So I can tame creatures if I want. Uh, remove stuff from the world. So I can adjust that. And then if I want to, I just go boop, click on that, and it's gone. So I can take objects out of the world, change the terrain. I can uh, actually, this one is really helpful for uh, when I was building places like that. Uh, I would just go to, you know, a circle that size. And I was actually thinking of putting a house over here somewhere anyway. So why don't we do this? Uh, let's widen that circle a bit. And we go, boop. And everything in that circle flattens to the height that the cursor's at. So, very, very helpful. Uh, and I'm just going to go over to remove and take out those stones and that dandelion. 
So I will later on bird go away. Uh probably widen this out a little more over that way and maybe over that way a little bit and I'll put a house up here. Um Yeah, you better fly away, bird. They're about as annoying as those pigeons that are on my balcony. Although the pigeons um after the end of this month, the 31st. I'm moving at the end of this month. Uh, I've found a new place to move to, closer to work, cheaper rent. Uh, so, and no pigeons, hopefully. <coughs> so, that's a win. Um, so, we've got this little river that runs just back to there. Comes over here, and then... Goes out, meets the sea. Uh, and there's this place. Um, if it looks a little bit modern, I went a little nuts with this place. Um, I flattened this whole area up here where it's sitting. There's a workshop out back right there. There's, uh... A burial site over there. And I put in this great big window here with a bench in front of it. And like you can see inside the house there, it actually looks pretty nice. Uh, I used these pieces from one of the mods. Also, the walls and the roof are from another mod. As is this door. I like this door. Such a nice door. It's got a almost like a porthole opening there. Uh, put some paintings on the walls. When you come in, there is a broom right behind the door. Uh, we've got a desk here and a bench so that we can sit here. Let's sit down on the bench for a second. But we can sit here and we can look out at the ocean and just admire it. Uh, we've got a countertop here. And we've got our oven. So this thing is in one of the mods. Uh, and a great looking little uh, oven. And then these pieces up here are actually from another mod. And they're actually paver stones. So I place them up there to kind of look like burners. Uh, and then we've got our bed here. And if we go through our back door, out here to our work area, which is covered, uh, we've got a bunch of lumber set up here, and we've got a uh, rune column. Got some fine wood there, and then we got log logs and uh, yeah, I got two different kinds of logs here. Or oh yeah, core wood and just regular wood. That felt like a world save but it wasn't so i set up my workbench with my tool rack and we've got the ads and then we've got the chopping block over here so this guy obviously is a woodworker uh you know comes out here and he works on stuff shaves the bark off cuts out the pieces he doesn't need and made this house and the furniture in it Well, let's continue down the path because there's lots to see and still a long ways to go. Uh, we are only here and we've still got to get all the way back over to here. So, even running full speed is going to take us a while. So, there's another runestone up there. I haven't made a path up to there yet. Um, may make a path up to it later. Now that I remember it's there. So there's a little shack over there. Uh, I haven't uh, fixed this one up yet. But I made a path out to the front door. There is a bed. And 
And so this guy will be a fisherman. Uh, obviously, he's got some really nice deep water here. Uh, there's going to be fish around here, of course. Uh, trying to decide where he's going to park his boat. Oh, you don't want it too far away. Um, I suppose if I dug this out a little bit right here, he'd be able to sail his boat in to here and then just, you know, turn it around and park it here. I could just put a uh, dock right there. Yeah. Seems like a good idea. Okay. So, plans for later. Um, but yeah, uh, I went down on Friday to look at this apartment, um, and actually I went on Wednesday to look at it. Uh, I went on Friday to put down the deposit, um, heck, out of my way, yep, uh, so I've got the deposit down on the place, uh, and this coming Friday, I get the keys. So next weekend, uh, next Saturday, I'm going to hopefully get a couple of friends together and rent a truck and pack up all of this and then move over there. So I figure this is the round trip on this path is roughly Ooh. if I don't stop to look at anything, it's it's probably roughly about a ten minute run around this path. But as you can see we have another marker here. So this place right here, uh, I have marked a house on the map, although there is a chicken coop here and there's nothing in this field. Uh, I would, but it's a really nice field. And I was thinking I would build a place down in here somewhere. Uh, maybe a cow farmer, who knows? Oh, back into the forest here. Uh, there's another little shack over there. Okay, well, uh, I guess somebody should live in that shack. I will probably make a path out to it at some point. There's our field. And if we come here, we are on the edge of the Black Forest. Right there. So this guy takes a chance living right here. So he's got three buildings here. And then he's got some raspberry plants here. It's looking a little barren over here in Black Forest. Uh, we got a boar and a couple of gray dwarves kicking around here. I'm sure there's a shaman out there somewhere. Oh, that's a one-star boar. Hi. Uh, you would give up uh, a fair bit of meat if I were to walk over there and punch you right now. Mule's foot. I did not name you, but that is a pig. Okay, so that is one of the animals from one of the mods uh, that it drops into the game. Uh, eventually, somewhere along our travels here, we will run into Odin Horse. He's running around somewhere. Um, actually, you know what? Over here on this farm, uh, I did make a great big uh, paddock right there. And there was an Odin Horse over there. And I fed him a carrot petted him, and then put a saddle on him. There he, there's an Odin horse right there. So, 
we got horses, we got cows, we got pigs. I think there are chicken. There's ducks in here. I know that. Chickens, I don't know. Uh, I brought the path really close to this rune stone here. Uh, yeah, I kind of meant to do that. Yeah. Accidentally on purpose. Yep, that's what we'll call it. So, this right here is this mountain right here. Uh, it doesn't look like much, but it does rise up there. Pretty good, too. Uh, this path just climbs. And we're constantly reminded that there is black forest right there beside us. Which is actually kind of nice. I, I like pine trees. They're nice. And then we're entering into the black forest. Now, uh, I brought the path up here past this spot because there is a crypt right here. So, there goes our skeleton. Will you quit harassing the wildlife? Yeah, you, come here. There you go. Taking on the wildlife like that. Jeez, what a guy. Uh, this is one of the new trees. Uh, there are fruit trees in one of my mods. Uh, cherries. Uh, there are also, I believe, oranges and apples. And a few other fruits. And I can plant those trees. And I will. Uh, that's the first cherry tree I've seen. Kind of cool. Um, so, briefly pass through Black Forest there. And then now we're back into Meadows. So, and there's another horse. Hello. There's there's a farm back that way. You just follow the path. Um, I'll, I'll make you a place to stay later. So that dot that I put on the map right there is actually right over here. I made a dirt path over to this spot. There is a crypt right here. And we have, there's a skeleton, dude. And we have an apple tree here. It has pink lady apples on it. I see where the skeleton is going. Yeah, you, you go ahead and take him out. I have no problem with that. You leave the deer alone, though. Yep, chase the gray dwarves. <laughs> you know, when you're getting chased through the forest by skeletons and that, if you get a, a good group of skeletons chasing after you in the forest run off into the forest and if you can go find yourself a gray dwarf spawner or find one of the stone towers somewhere <coughs> and go run past that thing because the skeletons will forget all about you if they spot a bunch of gray dwarves just chilling around one of these towers and they'll go attack them instead And then basically you can just sit back a little ways with a bow and arrow and just pick them off from a distance. Uh, I thought it would be a rather effective strategy. So this path leads over to a little hut here that's got a bed, a personal chest, and we've got a fire with a, a uh, cooking station on it and a sitting log. Uh, it's kind of a rest stop, really. And then we've got our five stones here, and I put some statues in front of each of them. What was... Oh. Horse is panicking for whatever... Oh, there's a skeleton and a gray dwarf chasing him. Okay. All right, you go run that way. Did some really nice 
uh, work on the animation for the horses. Gotta say, you know, looks good. So let's get back to our path over here. Because we are... All right, we're about three quarters of the way there. So there's a gray dwarf playing peekaboo with his horse over there. You leave the horse alone. Horse wild and hungry. Trailing. Leave horse alone. Oh, he's not even interested in horse. Okay. He would much rather have human flesh than horse. Good to know. Skeletons, on the other hand, just don't care. Um, they'll attack anything. So we're back on the edge of this black forest again, and we've got another uh, crypt right there. I have not made a path over to that crypt yet. Uh, I will do that later. And we come along, and there's a path right here that leads down there to that house. And also that house over there. So these guys wanted to be like on the edge of the Black Forest, kind of off the beaten track a little bit. Like I do. Yeah. Go figure. Um, so I haven't fixed up those two houses yet. All I did was make the path down to them. Uh, but I'm thinking that maybe this little area right here and... I might put a little area over there for that guy. Uh, and we'll put in a garden and stuff there for them. And what is going on with that tree right there? Oh, that's a really weird looking oak. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> so, we head down this hill. And we're actually coming back to the longhouse. And that is where we're going to lose the majority of our frames. Wait, I'm going back the other way. I am an idiot. I went the wrong way. Uh -huh. We have to go this way. So we're actually climbing this hill. And yes, we are going the right way. Yep, so past those guys and these crypts. I thought I was going the right way. So, okay, I got turned around here. That's why. My bad. Oh, look, a troll. What up, bud? Uh, you can't see me, so... I'm wearing my cloak of invisibility. Oh. Railing, you're in my way. Out of my way. All right. So this is where I got turned around. Was this spot here? All right. When I came out of there, I should have turned left instead of right. Eh. My bad. Uh, let's go jump down the hill. This is faster. So, there's another stone over there. Uh, I'll make a pass to that later. Those things are everywhere. So, there's this house here that, again, I haven't fixed it up yet. Uh, nice little house, though. And he's got a nice little field right here beside him. So... And I think there's another house right over there. So I may work this a little bit and I don't know. Uh, we'll put in a paddock and some animals, a garden, boars just hanging around over there, deer over there. Okay, so this is the house that we saw from over there. Or, nope, that's the host we saw. It's up there. Uh, we do have this little house right here, though. Uh, yeah, I'll get to it. So, this spot up here isn't too bad. 
Uh, might be able to build something up over there, maybe over there. And this spot over here looks pretty good. So I might build something over there. And always raspberries along the way for when we need a snack. Um, and there is, there's a horse right there. Uh, that house over there, I made some changes to it. Uh, that is the head groundskeeper's house. Um, yeah, I'll show you the changes I made to it here in a second. So we've got this little workshop back here. There's our windmill, our bees, and our portal. And I ran the path right down here. And it looks like it wants to rain, but it doesn't. That is really weird. Okay. Oh. Oh, wait. I think I know what's going on here. I have a weather stone right there. That is supposed to regulate my weather. Set that thing there when the weather was clear. And this looks like one of those infamous storms that stick around for about 20 minutes. Uh, things are so annoying. Uh, but it looks like the weather stone may actually be do partially be doing its job right now. There's one of our... That's a chicken. And another chicken. Well, hello. Okay, well, those are the first chickens I've seen in the game so far. I've seen ducks. Horses, cows, pigs. Uh, the chickens are cool. Very accurate. I like it. Uh, go over here. And I'll show you what I did to the uh, head groundskeeper's house here. I finally got around to building him a work area out here. Hung a couple of lamps from up there so that you could actually see what the hell he was doing down here. Uh, we've got a wheelbarrow and we've got a trough over there for his horse. Art, workbench, a table with a little bonsai on it right there. And we put a bucket under there and some wood. And why I'm... Oh, I'm drying off. Okay. thought for a second I was still getting soaked, but apparently not. Uh, this is one of the trees from one of the mods. I put it there because it looked nice. So, let's go up here. I'll show you what I did to the house, if we can see it. Uh... So we've got that roof, and we've got our chimney there, and changes I made to it are actually that back wall. I changed it from shea wood to uh, that dark wood wall. I put a painting there, and a table and chairs, and... Didn't really do anything up here. Oh, I did. Uh, I put in this divider and I changed that piece. So that right there used to be uh, marble. Now it's a dark wood. Uh, I don't know. I thought it fit better with everything else that was in here. A uh, little cabinet with a candle. And if we open the cabinet, we've actually got some decent storage there for putting all of our clothes and stuff in. Uh, put a couple of rugs on either side of the bed. And of course, these I can't actually open. Uh, so if we want to get really good airflow up here, we just open both of these. Get a nice breeze going through here. Those are my hobbit doors love those things i want to build a little hobbit hole somewhere and use these doors on it uh there's a couple of different ones and they're cool so 
this path actually ends right here. Uh, I am going to continue this down. Actually, I'll probably continue it over to there. And it'll join up with that main path because there's a house right over there. So I don't want the path to go that way over by him. Oh, it's a one star deer. Nice. So I will, from that point, probably come down past these raspberry bushes and just join it up like right over here. Because that house is right there and the path would be like joining right there, right beside his house. And the monstrosity here, our longhouse. Uh, yeah, haven't done anything inside there yet. And as you can see, we're dropping down to like 20 FPS this far away from it. Uh, I was watching somebody's video today of a tavern that they built. <laughs> and... He's using a bunch of the same mods that I am for decorating the inside and stuff like that. Uh, so he is using Flutterbucket, Valkia, and a couple others. And he decorated the inside and outside of this place uh, a lot. Um, and so when... He went to go record this thing. Uh, he was using a free fly camera and he was moving around through there and he was only getting like 5 to 10 FPS flying through this building because there were so many pieces in it. And like this thing was like half the size of the longhouse. So I'm really kind of hesitant about decorating the in the inside of this too much. Uh, put some tables and chairs in around there. Uh, you know, maybe some banners on the walls. Uh, but I really don't want to heavily decorate inside there because 20 FPS standing outside of it from this this far away and if I actually run inside uh, it doesn't really get a whole lot better uh, we're getting 25 right here you know and I've got literally nothing decorating in here except the bar and then upstairs is just that one room down at that end so if I drop a bunch more pieces in here, my frame rate is going to drop down to like 10. And I don't really want that. So, uh, I may put tables and chairs along both sides here. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with the middle yet. Uh, may leave it wide open. But, yeah, tables and chairs down both sides. And we just leave this open for walking and stuff. And then upstairs, uh, we've got that room at that end. But then everything along here is all wide open. Uh, I may place beds all along there and put little divider walls in between them. We'll have to see how that goes. Um... But yeah, my weather stone seems like it's doing its job. That should be a torrential downpour right now, but it's not. And actually, see what I'm doing right now, and there's only the occasional drop that's falling down. That's fantastic. That little island right out there may go and build on that. I'll have to go check it out later what's out there see if it's actually as flat as it looks here i think it's just the rendered uh, i think once i get closer to that island um stuff will start to render in and it's not going to be as flat as i think it is though with my hoe i could make it as flat as it 
as I want it to be. And we'll see how it goes. So yeah, that is the north and west side of the island. My path running around here. Uh, last video, we went down around here and followed the path that way. So I probably won't be playing this or uploading any videos for probably two weeks. Uh, I just have to see how it goes with getting my internet switched over to the new place and everything and getting everything set up. Uh, but I may eventually from this house, uh, take this path back up into this black forest here and back and over on this side of the island, uh, from this guy's house, either this guy's house or this guy's house. Maybe this one, maybe follow this shoreline up over here and maybe skip over to this island and come back somewhere by that troll. <laughs> and then maybe down the shoreline here past this troll and maybe hook up with this path right over here. We'll have to see. Um, but that little island I am going to go check out later on. But for now, uh, I got to go. Uh, pack some stuff uh, and get ready for next weekend. So, that's been the tour of that side of the island. <laughs> and I'll be back in probably... Two weeks. So, I'll see you then.